Hi guys, this is Tor from TC, coming at you from the 2016 NAMM show, and I'm here with John Petrucci. Hello. Hello. So glad you could make it up here. I know it's a busy time for you. Yeah, NAMM show is always crazy. Yeah. But this is great. That I have so much fun doing this with you. It's always fun dialing in tone points with you. Yes. And uh, we've been dialing in uh, the sound for the hypergravity compressor. Can you tell us a little bit about, you know, we talked about it earlier, but uh, how you started using compression? Absolutely. So for me, um, I really only use compression on a clean sound. Mm -hmm. I don't use it on my uh, lead sounds or crunch sounds or anything like that. So um, my very first experience was, was using a Boss pedal yep. where I had this kind of thuddy sound that I would practice with and it would help me with my technique because I can hear that uh, pick attack yeah. as I was And you want to get it even and... and uh, exactly. Yeah. And so it was kind of fun for that. But as I got uh, into recording, um, I noticed that certain um, engineers and producers would use compression on a guitar to bring out the sustain. And the first time I really heard that done really well and really effectively was um, on Images and Words with Pull Me Under, yeah. the opening yeah. riff and the way that the guitar just keeps going with <laughs> the sustain and it's just highly compressed. So um, my, my thoughts have been over the years uh, Putting uh, about putting compression on clean sounds that I want to get that, that sustain, sustained sound, but uh, I also want to maintain what's coming out of the amp yeah. as far as the clean sound because uh, I always try to get something that's really open and piano-like and yeah. beautiful, and I don't want it to be too affected by that compression. No, it should still retain yeah. the natural sound of the amp. And, uh, exactly. Yeah, so that, that's basically those are the, uh, the two points and the two qualities I look for. And speaking about amps, by the way. Yeah, what's this thing? Yeah, what's this thing? <laughs> it was the first thing I noticed when you brought it. It's like, this one? Uh, yeah. It says JP on it. I know. I, I, I can't believe it. This is something I'm very, very, very proud of. It is um, my signature Mesa Boogie nice. amplifier. It's called the JP2C. And it is a dream come true. Literally, I've been playing Boogie since I was yeah. a kid yeah. forever. To think that I'd ever have a, a signature that's cool. boogie made as beyond my comprehension, but uh, it's an absolutely amazing amp. It is a, a Mark II C plus, yeah, true, uh, all the way through. And uh, what we did is we modernized it yeah. and added all performance features, things that I kind of uh, look for when I'm on stage playing. Yeah, and it does everything you could possibly want it to. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just heard it before, um, yeah. and it sounds incredible. So cool. So right now we're on the clean. Uh, channel, which is a Mark II clean sound, and that's what you're hearing right now. Yeah, the, the idea was to just come up with a sound that basically doesn't break up. Yeah, you know, that's it's totally clean. Yeah, because it's not, I don't really use it uh, in, in any other way. No. I try to get this really super clean sound. So jumping back to the compressor, yes. um, I mean, we spent some time kind of dialing in both in terms of the EQ, mm -hmm. so that it doesn't, you know, favor any specific frequencies yeah and the other thing we did was to take a little bit of the basically tilt the uh, the free compressor so that it doesn't compress quite as much on the low end so right. that you don't get that kind of boomy sound that you sometimes get with the right compressors. exactly we talked about this before too uh, sometimes a compressor um and especially with pedals can really hurt the the high end yeah you know so if i'm spending all this time getting a real clear and, and chimey type of clean sound, and then all of a sudden we put a pedal on and that disappears. Yeah. You know, it, I mean, it does give it a nice quality where the low end has that thud, yeah. but you lose the top. So I think by doing what, what you did um, with the low end kind of allows, uh, it allows the high end to come through yeah. a little bit more. So you're just kind of fooling, with, fooling around with like the balance of EQ. Yeah and where it is, as opposed to you're not really boosting things necessarily. No, 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 no. It's more about a balance. So can we hear the pedal? Yeah, absolutely. So right now I'm, s I'm on my clean sound, um, and uh, I'm in the middle position of, of my majesty guitar. This is uh, the Ernie Ball Music Man. That's a new yeah. one for? Yeah, actually this one um, is, uh, the majesty came out a year or so ago. Yeah. This is part of the Artisan series, which is kind of a, uh, a more, Classy violin finish yeah. looking it looks amazing. guitar. Yeah, we have the gold hardware and the, the special uh, s uh, stain and, and all this good stuff. Um, but uh, I actually use this guitar exclusively on our latest album. Oh, cool. Yeah, which we'll talk about. 
We can do that now. Later. We can do it now. Yeah. Wow, I feel like I'm plugging everything over here. <laughs> That's okay. Isn't this a compressor <laughs> <laughs> video? <laughs> That's fine. As long as it's exciting news, then, you know, no, it's all, exciting. all the better. Okay, so our new album, uh, Dream Theater's new album, is called The Astonishing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we're really excited about it. It's a, a two CD uh, double act concept oh. rock opera. Cool. Crazy adventure. Yeah. And as we're filming this, it's actually not out yet. But right. when you're seeing this, it will, it will be it out. It will be out, yeah. exactly. And anyway, the, the point is I use this guitar on the yeah. album to record it. Yeah. Can't wait to hear it. Yeah. And you it's guys fun. are coming on tour as well, right? We are, yeah. Well, we're coming on tour, playing very special venues throughout Europe and, and North America. It's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. Yeah. And I will have the hypergravity in the touring Ooh, rig. You like that. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. yeah. So between that and the, the dream, scra uh, dream scrape, that's what happens when you drop it. You drop it yeah. and it gets scraped. The dream <laughs> scrape. <laughs> that's what that's also Yeah, yeah. That's what also happens at NAM when your head gets fried. Oh yeah. From, uh, <laughs> yeah, the dreamscape um, is is in the live rig yeah. as well as the the helix. Oh cool. Phaser. Yeah. So we have the whole. Family, of family TC of pedals, yeah. Cool. And again, you know, as you know, this I grew up playing TC yeah. pedals and twenty two ninety and everything yeah. else for forever. So it's awesome to uh, to be able to have these pedals in our rig. Yeah. So this compressor will be in there. Um, let's hear what it can do. Yeah. All so right. let's turn right. it on. Here we go. So what I'm hearing right away is that um, the sound of, of the boogie and this channel that we work so hard on, yeah. uh, getting you know the, this clear and chimey sound yeah. is not being compromised at all. No. When you turn the pedal on, it has that openness. It has the uh, the tonal quality that I'm looking for. Yeah. And that's the first thing. I mean, I think with any pedal, when when you turn it on, it's like. You know, guitar players notice that, right? Yeah. What did it do to my sound? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> my sacred sound. <laughs> what did it do? Yeah, you still um, want. I mean, yeah. as much as you want the pedal to sound great, you still want to retain the core sound of the guitar into the amp. And right. Nothing else. Exactly. And for me, you know, um, the way that I, I use a clean channel on the amp isn't necessarily for a lot of uh, single note type lines and no. stuff like that. It's more for sustainy, arpeggiated. Yeah. You know. So I, I don't want the compressor to add any distortion, to darken the sound, no. to make it, you know, uh, to compromise the sound. So the, the uh, tone print that we developed this morning is, uh, is something that's doing exactly that. Yeah. It's giving you a very transparent type of compression. Um, it's doing a lot of work behind the scenes, I guess, <laughs> yeah. right? It took a little while to dial it in. But yeah, yeah. But when you step on it, you're going to notice that your sound is actually enhanced yeah. in, a, in a, a good way that doesn't compromise the sound, but does give those, um, those kind of arpeggiated chords a bit more sustain yeah. and, uh, and just helps with the clarity. Yeah. So we're also kind of messing about with the, with the knobs afterwards. And yeah. Because we're talking about, you know, it's also nice to be able to get a more aggressive Exactly. Type of uh, compression sound, and you can totally get that with this with this you can. too. You can. You can, and and you know, for me, it depends on the application. One of the things that I love to do with the the Music Man guitar is it has a piezo system yeah. in it, and so um, I blend the the sound of the the piezo or piezo or however you want to say. I don't know. It. I you know, I mean, you guys I, decide. I got I got <laughs> to figure out how you pronounce yeah. it. There's, there's many uh, online forums. Discussing that? Discussing that. <laughs> there are soul forms dedicated to it. Exactly. <laughs> Piezo, piezo. Um, anyway, so so I use that, which is the direct sound of the guitar through the saddle. Sounds like an acoustic, yeah. basically. It sounds amazing. So we blend that um, with the sound of, of the clean uh, magnetic pickups yeah. through the amp. And when I do that, usually I have the acoustic sound, um, you know, maybe with a little verb on it. And then I'll have like some chorus and delay on the clean sound. Yeah. And the, the, the sound of the, the percussive uh, piezo with the sustainy clean sound yeah. is a really a great, oh, yeah. great way to, to go about it. So in situations like that, I, it, it kind of goes back to that pull me under intro yeah. thing, because that's how that was done. Yeah. That was layers and layers of clean with yeah. acoustic. Yeah. So I kind of think along those lines. So I'd want a clean sound that 
maybe wasn't as transparent and did have more of that really squished yeah. and like hyper sustained yeah. sound. So we started messing with this. What did we do, Tor? Yeah, so we took the attack and brought it all the way down. Right. And then the blend all the way up and then we right. cranked the sustain up quite a bit. Okay, yeah. All right, so now... You know. Yeah, so yeah. that's going to go yeah, forever. forever yeah. yeah, exactly. So that gives a really cool... jazz all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, I would, you know, the application again would be more of that kind of um, arpeggiated yeah. clean chord sound. <laughs> Beautiful. So again, you hear the sound of the amp coming through, but now we're being a little bit more extreme yeah. with what the compressor is actually doing. And we're actually, I mean, with the f with the first uh, setting we talked about, mm -hmm. we dialed that into the tone print, yes. and you can get the more aggressive sound with that tone print, but we actually also right. created an, an extra tone print where you get that yes. sound if you set everything at 12 o'clock. Exactly. The so bonus. The tone bonus print. tone print, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. extra one. So what do you want to call the tone prints? Okay, so, so the first one, um, since it is a, a transparent type of compression, um, we'll call it transcomp. That's great. All right. And uh, the second one, since it is a more of uh, a sustainy compression, suscomp just didn't sound good. <laughs> um, we had another idea as well, which we can't even say. We can't even say that. We don't, yeah, we're not going to go there. But um, since it does sustain forever, we'll call it ever comp. Perfect. Yeah. And uh, those are the two compressors. And, and, you know, you can get things in between, yeah. of course, but they're two beautiful sounding tone prints. Thanks so much for doing this. You're welcome. <laughs>